Five News at Five starts now. And we start with breaking news tonight. Good evening. I'm Heather Gustafson. A manhunt in Polk County has ended with the suspect surrendering to police. He's accused of shooting and killing two women and a six year old child. A statewide search for that suspect, Ernest Cherizard, started Friday after police say he shot and killed six year old Elizabeth, her mother, Eli Normill, and her great aunt, Nicole Galoom. Police say the mother, Normill, was the suspect's girlfriend. The victim's family is stunned. I was showing with her. I spoke to her two days ago, and she's like, I'm doing good, bro, and working. She's the manager at uh, one of the fast food restaurants down in the Haines City area. Haines City police found the victims in the suspect's apartment on Friday. After two days on the run, he surrendered to police this afternoon. The news station's Elizabeth Fry has more on this case. Elena Mule's Facebook page is filled with photos of her and Ernst Sherrard, painting a picture of a happy couple in love. You know, you always talk to me like he cares for my, my sister, that he want to marry her one day. But Polk County court records tell a very different and violent story. In April of 2017, Normil filed a domestic violence injunction against Sherrard. Then, just months later, Sherrard was arrested by Polk County authorities for domestic violence aggravated battery against Normil while she was seven months pregnant with their twin children. Those twin babies, now just over a year old, are without a mother after Sherrard shot and killed her Friday night, along with Normil's six year old daughter, Elizabeth Fresnel. And Nicole Guillaume, who, according to family, is Normiel's mother. She was a good girl, like, you know what I mean? Since then, 23, and now she's gone. It's just sad. Normiel's fate was ultimately sealed due to an argument that Sherrard said on Facebook began after he attempted to see one of his children from a previous relationship. Yeah, have all the kids and baby mama in the area. In that Facebook post, Sherrard claims that the pair was fighting for the gun when he, quote, lost it adding that it was like he was hearing voices in his head. He ended the post apologizing to everyone for taking a great person's life. But it's an apology that doesn't hold much weight, as family and friends now grieve the loss of three loved ones in less than 48 hours. Little Elizabeth's death Saturday night, the latest heartbreak. Authorities releasing she suffered gunshots to the temple, face, and arm. Well, you know what you did, so you got to pay the consequences. I just need justice for my family. Justice that family members say they won't stop fighting for. Elizabeth Fry, Fox 35 News.